As soon as I was born, I remember music around me. My first memories are about music. I started my career as a singer, that's how it happened. And then later during my early teens, I went into Sarod. Well, singing was my love from very childhood and I used to sing all the time. And uh, what happened is that at a very young age, I think I practiced a lot. Because um, I believe, I'm told, I used to practice like 10, 11, 12 hours when I was, you know, under 10 years old. There was a sarod lying at home, so I used to always play the instrument and I was very inspired by Ali Akbar Khan Sahab, Amjad Ali Khan Sahab, and I used to listen a lot and I used to, I started liking the sarod very much. So I took it up to my father and said, you know, ke bhai, mujhe to sarod bajana hai. I want to play sarod. So he said, look, if you want to, he said, if you want to take sarod, it's pretty serious. Anyways, so that's when I, around early teens, took up the sarod and very, and it was a big, big frustration for me. Because here I was a full-fledged singer, a concert, uh, you know, performer in singing, and my level was quite high as a musician. And I was literally made to do da 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 ra da ra, face the wall, and you know, a thousand uh, simple, you know, scales and things like that. So I had to just go through that period. That's my baby, my Sarod. This is made by uh, Hemen Sen, who is the Stradivarius of Sarod. The wood is, um, it's at least 250 years old. And um, I've got 22 strings on it. I've got 13 sympathy strings. So I've introduced a uh, seventh because I've added the, the uh, additional bass string that I was talking about. That is to realize my elements of Drupad, and Surbhar elements on the Sarod. Well, I think what I'm already trying to do with the Sarod is, is my own humble, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a servant of my gharana, a servant of uh, Indian classical music, and a servant of Sarod as well. I'm trying to take uh, Sarod in different kind of lights. My grana, the four strings technique of the uh, instrument on the surbahar is highly sophisticated and advanced in, in my uh, in my grana. And uh, that aspects of that I'm adapting to the Sarod with traditional Sarod styles and tra traditional Sarod Baj. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the first person to introduce the fifth bass string to the sarod. There have been masters in the past. The fifth string that they added was used, they used it as a drone. Um, I'm using it as a full-fledged melody string. And so these kind of developments to the sarod combining with the guy king of my Garana, and this is how uh, when you say uh, I'm taking it forward, I would I'm, I, I would think. <laughs> 